Hey guys, it's Jack here from DesignModo. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your new static website designed, created, and hosted using the latest, quickest, and simplest way there is with DesignModo's stunning new static.app. So, let's look into the way that the static app works. On screen now is the dashboard. You can see my account and one project inside the account. Let's make a new project together. First, let's go to Slides by DesignModo to find and download a website project that I've been working on called Portfolio Website. As you can see from this view, the project contains three pages. First, let's download the zip file to our local machine. Once downloaded, find the zip file and upload it into static.app, pressing the Upload Zip button and then dragging and dropping the file onto static.app just like this. Once the zip file is uploaded, you have the option to make any changes that you need. This can include things like titles, descriptions, domain name. You can add your custom domain name or use a custom subdomain name. Another great feature here is the forms feature where you can program the capturing of any kind of existing data forms on your website to act as a touch point with your target audience that can be very easily broken down into databases. Just add an attribute to your existing form and done you start to collect information from your forms. Once all your configurations are complete, head back to the main dashboard and yes, there it is. The website has been created. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, just from the first impression and as you scroll down, the website is looking exactly like what I had created in the Slides app and it's fully functional, ready to be used by my audience. It's really crazy to think how little effort was needed to get something of this level in just a few moments. Now let's head back to the static.app dashboard. Here you can see all the pages that make up the website, so you could click and make further changes as required. And if you head to files, you can see how wonderfully organized everything is. It's truly super easy to navigate your way around this back end. Here you will find all the files you've downloaded from Slides app, and if you need to make more changes, You'll find all files here, like CSS and HTML files, images, JavaScript files, and more. The Options button here at the top of the page allows you to upload or export any part of the site in code as a zip file. We can scroll down now and see the code sitting behind the index page of the site. And any developers out there can make any code changes here directly within our online tool. Now let's take a quick look at the customization available when you click on Pages. Here you can see and edit the file name, link text, set as home page, and determine whether or not the page is live for public or only private view. Finally, you might want to connect an existing domain to your site. To do that, just head to Domains and type the domain name that you'd like to use. Add domain records to your domain name registrar by inserting these records into your domain registrar. Next, press the Test button. Usually this domain propagation process takes up to five minutes and once you're ready, you'll receive a confirmation everything is in working order and your website is online with your new domain. Here's a final look at the website we created together with our custom domain name. I mean, it really is stunning. Now, don't forget to head to static.app to find out more about how this all works. The instructions on the website are clear and easy to follow. So with that said, we're coming to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough of the new design motor service called static.app. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to get in touch in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching. I've been Jack from Design Moto. Over and out.